kindergarten friends. Today we are going to learn how to make an uppercase I. So make sure to get out your fish handwriting book and go to page 30. Make sure you are sitting in a chair with your bottom in the seat and you have your feet on the floor flat in front of you. You can use your non-writing hand to brace your book and make sure that your hand that you hold your pencil with, you're using a proper pencil grip. None of these, none of these, none of these. Make sure you're holding it properly. All right, and the uppercase I has three strokes. The first stroke is to start on that top line, that skyline right here, and we're gonna slide right. We're making kind of like the hat. Then you're going to go to the, the middle of that line you just made and pull down straight. So it kind of looks like a T with a very small top. And then the last thing you're going to do is you're going to put the bottom on. You're going to slide right again. So slide right, pull down straight, slide right. Slide right, pull down straight, slide right. Slide right, pull down straight, slide right. Make sure that your eye is touching, your uppercase eye is touching the top line and the bottom line, that we don't have any floating eyes anywhere. We always, always make sure to capitalize I when we're talking about ourselves and when it's at the beginning of a sentence. So capital I is an important one. You're going to keep doing that all the way down here. Everywhere that there's a green dot, there needs to be an uppercase I. Every single where. Slide right, pull down straight, slide right. Slide right, pull down straight, slide right. And you're going to keep doing that until you have it all filled up. Then you're going to come down here and it says count the objects in each set and then write the correct numeral. So you're just going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then write the numeral that goes with that number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You're going to do that for each set. Then down here, you're going to write the uppercase I to complete the sentence. So we're going to start with an uppercase I because it's the beginning of our sentence. This first word is if, but that starts our sentence. And then we're going to put another I right here in the blank spot. And so now it says I... Go, if I go, will you? If I go, will you? All right, now do a checkup. Are your letters the correct size? Are they touching the top and the bottom line? If they are, you can put yes. I'm going to circle my best looking eye, I think that's this one, and put an X on my eye that is not so good looking. That one I could have fixed up a little better. All right, guys, can't wait to see how yours turn out.